So what in the world is that? That's our drain plug. That does not look like a drain plug. I asked myself, <laughs> what was that when I first saw that? So basically, yeah, it's a plastic oil pan and it's a plastic, uh, just a little plug. It, and the way this uh, drain plug works is you just turn it out and you put it back in. And I'm not sure why Ford went to it. But uh, it kind of it kind of threw me off when I first saw it. So it just works just like any other plug. So go ahead and just we're just gonna turn it to the left here. All right. And then make sure you get your pan under there and just pull it out. Then we'll let the oil drain a little while. Once she stops dripping like that, we'll uh, you, you can see the plug. It's just got a green O-ring on there. Make sure we're uh, inspect that O-ring really good. Look for tears. And when you install it, you're gonna want to make sure that it's lubed. You don't want that O-ring getting caught up. Just just lube it with the, with the engine oil. And you can see how the threads work on there. It just bites and then it clicks in there. That's it. That's all it is. Ford must have gone this way because uh, my guess would be that a lot of inexperienced people love to over torque that engine drain plug. I've seen a lot of ruined oil pans over the years. So... I'm assuming they're just kind of making it foolproof to do the maintenance, kind of make the maintenance dummy proof. So I just go back, I just start it until I feel it, feel the thread start to kick in there, and then go ahead. And that audible click, that's what we're after, that audible click, and then you're done. What holds it in, what makes the seal is that o-ring that o-ring is what makes the seal on that corner that stops the oil from getting past so all that plug does is hold that o-ring in place just that audible click and you're done